Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to, to the Book, Book Doctor's YouTube channel. channel. Author photos. So, uh, even before you become an author, you want to have an awesome author photo so that when someone says, ooh, oh, I like this book, let's see what they look like because everybody does that. I, 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 we were talking to one person at her agency, uh, Little Bean Greenberg Rostan, and said, oh, the first thing we do is we go and look. Are they hot? Are they cool? Are they, what, what do they look like? It's just human nature. We want to see what the person looks yeah, like. Yeah, but I just want to be clear. You don't have to be hot. No, you don't. To have but we an author photo. We want to, know we want to see yes. the character yes, of you, you, whatever yes. that is. That's right. So I want to give a great example, and we, uh, which is Ellie Lennon. Lennon. Ellie Lennon, um, yes. who is the Freaking most awesome. awesome person. And she plays the ukulele, yeah. and she's a great writer. And she's an artist. And an artist. She's like everything. So her author photo, which you can see, right? No, it's over there. What, somewhere on here. Captures the fun, playful spirit of this human being. You can just see she's smart and funny just by looking at her picture. And goofy. And goofy, and but, but she's also a professional. Yeah. And the photograph is a fantastic photograph. It doesn't look like your kid took it on an iPhone. Or it's not one of these, they're like, hmm. The, yeah, well, I want to talk about that kind yeah, of yeah. in a second. So hmm. capturing you, you, that's what the author photo is all about. Now, there is one exception to that, which is the... <laughs> that's a good one. If that is you, try and be a different, different you. you. <laughs> Just abandon that personality. Because it's the most hackneyed author photo that is out there, which is the pensive. It's also one where they're actually leaning on their own I don't arms. mind that. No, I hate Really? It. But it depends it. what it is. No, it doesn't depend. If you're leaning on your own arms, no. Okay. No, no good. Now, when we got author photos taken of ourselves, yeah. we took so many to show different 7, things. thousand pictures. We have the, we are the book doctors. Yes, we are. We have, oh my God, we're the really fun, crazy book doctors. We want you. We have one of David looking up my skirt. Skirt, it's really fun. We actually do have and that. And we have used that. We have used yes, it yes. when necessary. And sometimes it's gonna be necessary. So Trust to me. get a variety of use because you're not one thing for different purposes. Let's say your book was going to be featured in the New York Times, but it right. was also going to be featured in um, on Howard Stern on, on the website of on Howard, Howard Stern. Stern. Yeah, or on a humor site yeah, or whatever. Sure. Um, you might need a different picture. You will need a different picture for each of, for those. Each of those things. You skipped a step. I did. Get get somebody who's actually a photographer. Yeah. This is super important. They don't have to be an outrageously expensive photographer. They could be a student photographer. They could be somebody who's for... just about to graduate from college. And it needs, those people need stuff for their portfolio. Mm -hmm. We often use people who are just about to graduate from uh, whatever to do, because they're hungry. And they and you can tell them, oh, let's, we don't do that. Let's try this one. So they'll also work with you because it's really important to them to build their their portfolio up exactly so don't just get somebody where it's a photograph by your cousin you know who is kind of a decent photographer or a selfie or whatever we see people send pictures in and also the the, the headshot where you're standing like <laughs> back here like this, like you can't even see what right. the person is. They're standing on a lake somewhere. You're yeah. like, what? Huh? We what? have also heard from people in the media that a really interesting author photo can yeah, be the absolutely. reason that they end up reviewing or covering absolutely, a book because question. they need great content visually. Yeah. So something that's really fun or interesting can fill that. Like, let's say you've written a book about wildlife and you have a picture of you with two koala bears yeah. in your arm. A lemur on your shoulder. Who doesn't want to see Come someone on. with two koala Can bears we? in their arm? When I was first starting as a stand-up uh, comedian in San Francisco last century, um, I, you know, you gotta have a headshot. So I did this one uh, headshot where I was in a, like a really nice sort of cashmere long coat and one that was divided in half and one was me sort of like looking like a parody of like a sexy model. And the other one, I was flashing. And I, I, I literally hadn't ever been paid professionally. And I sent that in, I got my first gig. 
and I sent the picture in, and it was plastered all over the front page of the art. I just want to note that you weren't actually nude in the. Oh second. no! Sorry. <laughs> Although, if you're that, going that could for have, some... That could have if worked. If you want to be featured in Naked Monthly for nudists yes. of all kinds, then that might that be right. That might be the one. But I and I had literally never done anything. And I, there I was, my picture, because it was a cool picture. And this very bitter comedian came and said, how the f*** did you get on that? What's, you're nothing. You're no one and you'll never be anything. Which is why I left stand-up comedy yeah. eventually. But the author photo crucial and don't wait until you get a book deal do it now and make it good and you know show the pictures around to your your dream team do you yep. like this one do you like that and, one and the bring a couple of, i'm sorry bring a couple of outfits so you have a yes, couple of looks bring outfits and 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 like we said it can be weird it can be funny it can be crazy it can be serious in fact i'm looking at the the cat oh there we go yeah, yeah, yeah. our cat there by the photographer tony mendoza and his uh, author photograph, which you can see somewhere up there, up there um, is really wacky. Yeah, because he's and, wacky. And the book is totally Remember wacky. Mike Daisy? Oh, and Mike Daisy, right. The famous monologist. Before he was a famous monologist, he wrote a book. He took a picture of himself, and he looks a bit like a bulldog. With a bone in his mouth, he's like. Was it? Didn't that used to be like the Amazon logo uh, or something? Well, but it had something to do with the book. Yeah. But it, it, but but who you know who would do that? But he, it's such a cool picture. It just like pops right yeah. off the page, and he's him with a dog bone in his mouth chewing it. Exactly. So what, take the essence of what you are. What's cool, interesting, unique, funny, serious, tragic. The, the defining things that you are, and get some people to help you. Have somebody come with you to the shoot. Because also people tend to freeze up. Yeah, you got to get I, someone to loosen you up. I, I always, uh, I'm good at this because I've been doing it for so long. And I help people out. Uh, oftentimes it's great just to have a, a, a conversation with someone about something funny. And you're talking to someone and then, you know, in that moment when you're not talking but you're reacting like a human and not like a plastic doll, that's the picture that's going to like, pew, because you're doing something natural and you're, you know, displaying the best of yourself. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that. Yeah. All right, everybody. All right. To the, the Hawk Star. star.